Good morning, church. Welcome to worship. All of you who are here in person, welcome to worship. All of you who are online, hi, Mom. And welcome to worship those of you who are here for the first time, which, of course, in that lineup would be sweet baby Jacob. We are also delighted that his godparents are here from Lutherland, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and another godmother is here from San Bruno. Welcome to worship, and if you are not part of the baptismal party and it is your first Sunday, welcome. If you are an observant person, you would notice that we have beautiful pyramids. They are in honor of Roger Davis, and next Sunday we will be asking God to put a blessing upon them. Um, on November 7th, mark your calendars, we will return to two services, 845 and 1045, with children's choir in between at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, yes, we're getting used to all these times. That is November 7th. And does anyone know when the time change is? We haven't had that yet, have we? Is it November 7th? Oh, All Saints. Okay, great. All Saints, November 7th, we're going to celebrate the time change by having early and late. Does that mean people are going to be getting up really early or are they going to have an extra hour? I never know. Fall back. You gain an hour, right? So it's all good. <laughs> Today is the 21st Sunday after Pentecost. Welcome to worship. I'm also the announcement girl. So, please fill out an attendance card. We have those um, in case we need to do contact tracing. We've been fortunate and blessed so far, so we thank you for keeping your mask on. And unfortunately not singing, but we have a great crew of musicians and singers this morning to sing for us. The next small group meeting for our transition team is today after the service on the patio. Check your um, announcement page for more information. Our turn for the um, food pantry, the interfaith food pantry, is this Thursday. And so um, please be there at, do we need them there at 5 o'clock, Richard, or 4.30? 4.30. So um, a celebration for the life of our sister in Christ, Shelley, will be this coming Sunday, October 24th at 2 p.m. Please check the announcement page for details about that to sign up online or call the church office if you can't figure out how to do that. We also will be live streaming that service. And then Kevin, thank you, Kevin, is going to put that on our website under worship, events, something special, not Sunday worship. It'll be another tab that you click on. Again, if you have any questions, um, call Kevin Prime. Just kidding, Kevin. <laughs> call the church office. <laughs> Please read the announcement page for more announcements, but we are having communion kids today. 1145, some of our confirmands are going to be assisting, and we are having... Um, Deb and Amy are going to teach them how to make communion bread, so we'll be in our kitchen. And now I would call forward the baptismal party and our two acolytes. <laughs> so you can kind of stand back here, but I want you to stand right here to hold this. Okay, all right. You're good there? Okay. I'll move over for you. That's the water tank. Okay. Oh. God, who is rich in mercy and love, gives us a new birth into a living hope through the sacrament of baptism. By water and the word, God delivers us from sin and death and raises us to new life in Jesus Christ. We are united with all the baptized in one body of Christ, anointed with the gift of the Holy Spirit and joined in God's mission for the life of the world. 
do you present Jacob, Wilhelm, Hans, Hetrick to receive the sacrament of holy baptism? Parents and sponsors, you may answer, we do. We do. That's right, Johan. As you present Jacob for baptism, you are entrusted with gifts and responsibilities to live with him among God's faithful people, bring him to the word of God and the Holy Supper, and nurture him in faith and prayer so that he may learn to trust God, proclaim Christ through word and deed, care for others and the world God made, and work for justice and peace among all people. It's a tall order. Andy and Aaron, as parents, do you promise to help Jacob grow in the Christian life and faith? If so, answer, we do. We do. Tim and Becky, Tim and, Becky and Stephanie and James, who was not able to be here, as Jacob's promise, as Jacob's sponsor, so we'll just add TJ. Do you promise to nurture Jacob in the Christian faith as you are empowered by God's spirit and to help him live in the covenant of baptism and in communion with the church? If so, answer, we do. People of God, do you promise to support Jacob and pray for him in his new life in Christ? If so, answer, we do. We do. Together, I ask you all to reject sin, profess your faith in Christ, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God, the powers of this world that rebel against God, and the ways of sin that draw you from God? If so, answer, I do. With the whole church, let us confess our faith. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Okay, now, how about you kind of step like right over here? Okay, and how about that for me? We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters, and by your word you created the world calling forth life in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood, you delivered Noah and his family, and through the sea, you led your people Israel from slavery into freedom. At the river, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection, you set us free from the power of sin and death and raised us up to new life in you. Pour out your Holy Spirit, oops, sorry. Pour out your Holy Spirit, the power of your living word, that the one who is washed in the waters of baptism may be given new life. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. I think he might be the newest baby I've ever baptized. So if you can stand over there. Okay. <laughs> Jacob, 
Wilhelm Hans Hetrick, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray and come a little closer. We give you thanks, O oh God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give your daughters and sons new birth. Cleanse us from sin and raise us to eternal life. Sustain Jacob with the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge. <laughs> He's smiling and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forevermore. Amen. Jacob, child of God, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever. okay for me to still hmm? oh yeah yeah seems he seems okay still so we ask that you light this candle on his baptismal anniversary show him pictures Talk about how short his brother and sister were, and now they're taller, and about all the gifts that God has given him in holy baptism. Through baptism, you have been received into the household of God, entrusted with the good news of Jesus Christ, and strengthened to serve by the holy and life-giving spirit. Would all of you please welcome baby Jacob? We welcome you. Ari, you can walk with me and the mission we share. Join us as we give praise to God and bear God's creative and redeeming word to all the world. This is our newest member of Elam Lutheran Church. <laughs> you want to take him back?
forgot to give them a few gifts that are from all of you. And I'm happy to tell you that water splashed on the book, which I'm glad about. I told Dahlia to make a splash with all that water. But this is a book for you and Andy. And this is a book, Era, for you to read to your little brothers. And I forgot to use this when I was baptizing the baby. I just used my hand, but it's still a symbol of baptism. <laughs> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Sovereign God, you turn your greatness into goodness for all the people so they may shape us in the willing servants of your kingdom and make us desire always and only your will through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Psalm 91, 9 through 16. Please read this responsively. Responsibly, yes. Or responsibly, either way. <laughs> because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation. No evil will fall on you. No shall curse come near your dwelling. For God will give the angels charge over you to guard you in all your ways. You will tread upon the lion cub and the viper. You will trample down the lion and the serpents. I will deliver those who cling to me. I will uphold them because I take no account of them. They will call me and I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. gospel for this 21st Sunday after Pentecost and Jacob's baptism is found in the gospel according to St. Mark, the 10th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came forward to him and said to, to Jesus, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. And he said to them, What is it you want me to do for you? And they said to him, Grant us to sit, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your glory. But Jesus said to them, you do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink or be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They replied, we are able. Then Jesus said to them, the cup that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or my left is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they began to be angry with James and John. So Jesus called them and said to them, You know that among the Gentiles, those whom they recognize as their rulers lord it over them, and their great ones and are tyrants over them. But it is not so among you, but whoever wishes to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be slave of all. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. You may be seated, and would the children please come forward for the children's message. Oh, Jacob's first. 
with some children. Happy baptismal day for Jacob, right? Yeah. Yeah, very exciting, very exciting. Now, when you come up for Holy Communion today, I've left the baptismal top. It probably has a better name than that, but I've left it off. So you can dip your fingers in the water if you want to, and you can make the sign of the cross on your forehead, or you can make it over your chest. And you know what that is? That is saying, thank you, Jesus that I've been baptized. Yes. Now, the Christian church over the centuries has had a lot of symbols to show what our faith is all about. And one of the symbols is a shell. Like in the Christian catacombs, they have like scratches in the walls of shells. And that is a symbol of baptism. So I went to Michael's, and I bought some shells. And I would like for you to take one to remember your holy baptism. Oh, I was going to say Era and Johan get to go first, OK? Because, you know, they're like brother and sister. OK. Johan, it's a big decision, but somebody's got to make it. All right, TJ. TJ is like a um, honorary sponsor today and there's Junie yes and there's one for Stella and one for Lucas and Jacob already has one so every morning when Martin Luther woke up he splashed his face with water did they have running water when Martin Luther was alive no Is this he just used the bowl with with uh the, by his bed it was probably and he poured it in, he poured the water, just like that, that flagon or that pitcher, he poured it into the bowl, and then he splashed his face, and he made the sign of the cross on his forehead. He said, thank you, God, that I'm baptized, and now help me with my day. Help me to show your love in the world. You can do that when you step in the shower, or do you ever just splash your face with water in the morning to wake yourself up? I do it every morning. It's kind of like, whoop, okay, now I'm awake. But you can do it then, too. And you can just do it fast. What's that? You didn't like it, huh? Yeah. Well, you know what? There's a little trade secret in that pitcher where the water is. Andy filled it up with warm water. So, look at Jacob. Look at his little head. <laughs> Hopefully, all of you will get a chance to peek at Jacob today. Beautiful. Well, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for Jacob's baptism today. Thank you so much for my baptism. Help me to remember that you love me. We ask these things in Jesus' name, and all God's children say, Amen. Now, I have flat Jesus hidden somewhere behind me. Do you see it? Stella? Oh, Stella and TJ saw it. I saw it. Uh, oh, could you just give me back your... <laughs> oh, you found it. You found it. Okay, great. Okay, great. Yeah, no, it's okay. You saw it. You, saw it. you and Stella saw it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> You can go back to your seats now. Thank you. Oh, no, you can keep it. Yeah, unless you want another one. Yeah, put it on your desk. Put it wherever you want to put it, TJ. Yeah. Oh, did she go? Let us pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts and minds be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our creator 
and our Redeemer. Amen. At first, when I read the gospel for this morning's service, I got all excited. I said, oh, yay, Jesus is talking about baptism, and it's Jacob's baptism. What a coincidence. But then I took that deeper dive that you need to do when you're going to preach, and I discovered that when Jesus said these words, are you able to drink the cup that I drink? or be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. When he said those words, he's talking about the way of the cross, which includes his death. Jesus is on his way to Jerusalem in our gospel reading this morning. And he's talking to his disciples about their sacrifice too. Many of them will be martyred for the faith. So then I thought to myself, well, I can't, I can't preach about that. I mean, it's Jacob's baptism. After all, you can't talk about death when there's a little baby you're baptizing. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. We as Christians, we as Lutherans, we don't shy away from talking about death. And when we talk about baptism, we often refer to it as a death, a death to our old selves and a rising up to our new life in faith. And as the writer of the Gospel of John says, our new life, life abundant in Christ. So I want to look at this passage for a little while And then I want to land in the baptismal font. So it's important when you're looking at a passage to say what comes before, what comes after. And right before Jesus speaks of his upcoming condemnation, humiliation, and death. It's called a passion prediction. And it's the third one already in Mark. Mark moves along quickly in his short gospel. Jesus lays it all out there for his disciples, and then James and John, the Zebedee brothers, they come up on the scene, and what is their concern? They ask Jesus about their position of of authority, their power, their glory. Hey, Jesus, can you work it out? So that one of us is on your right hand and one of us is on your left? The first lobbyists. Their request, of course, is drenched in irony. One of which, one of which, is that soon Jesus will be hanging on a cross and there will be a criminal on his right and a criminal on his left hand. So right after this, the other disciples speak up. Uh, They are upset with James and John. Yep, yep. It's good, Johan. I like it. Most likely because they have their own ideas. They have their own dreams of power and glory. They may be jealous that James and John got to Jesus first. Jesus turns all this on its head, as he is wont to do and reverses their understanding of leadership from powerful to servant leadership. The goal is to serve others, not to be served. Jesus has been trying for a long time to teach his disciples that the kingdom of God has come near, but they just don't get it. When James and John approach Jesus, we almost laugh out loud at their request. How brazen of them. How how self-centered can they be? Interesting, in Matthew, if you like to compare, which I love to do, stories in the different Gospels, they're all a little different, as we're learning in confirmation class. In Matthew, it's their mom that makes the request. 
So you're not really upset with the disciples, you're upset with the, the pushy mom. But hold on a minute. Doesn't this whole scene make us a bit embarrassed? No? no? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good to be honest. And, for, and fidget a little in our pew or in our pulpit. Don't we know deep down that we also want the best seats in the house? One time, Pastor Thomas and I got tickets to the opera from a member of our church. I'm not implying that you need to get us tickets for the opera. But they were a little nicer than the usual ones we get, which are usually very, very, very high, high up. They were right down, right down, and it was Barbara of Seville, and I swear they were singing to me. Well, they probably were because that's where the money seats are, right? And it was so wonderful. I wanted to tell everyone, we have the best seats in the house. But good for me, I have a husband who told me we cannot do that. We just have to act like these are our normal um, seats that we have for the whole season. But it was wonderful. But don't we want our kids to go to the best schools? Don't, don't we want to have the best jobs? Don't we want to be able to say the name of our church? and have someone say, oh yeah, that's the biggest, most successful church in town. Yeah, I just finished with a clergy conference, and it, there used to be more bragging than there is now among clergy, but boy, can clergy brag about their services and their churches. Could it be that we are afraid could it be that James and John, after they'd just heard that their rabbi was going to be beaten up and dragged away and murdered publicly, that they are afraid by what Jesus has told them? Wait a minute. Could it be that their fear has driven them to seek security in power and glory? Could it be that we're afraid too? and worried about our children's future. And so we ask for glory for them. We are anxious about the future of our church. And so we ask for glory. Are we really that different than James and John? Well, let's turn to the font. When we take a look at sweet baby Jacob, when we take a look and watch that baptism. We are also reminded of our own baptism. Yeah. yeah, it happens every baptism. So thank you, Jacob, for the gift. And our baptism brings us to the way of the cross. Because our baptism makes us disciples of Jesus. And as daunting as it is to follow Jesus, we know that we all received the extraordinary promise that Jesus will guide us and will be with us on our journey of faith. So what are we going to teach Jacob? What are we going to teach Jacob about as he grows up here at Elam? What is it that we hope and dream that Jacob will pick up from his parents, from the church, from all the saints that come and go from this house of God. Well, little baby Jacob, here are four things we hope and pray for you. And I'm going to come down and talk to Jacob, but you can listen in. Jacob, we hope... Oh, you don't have to stand up. Yeah, you weren't going to. Good. We hope and pray that you will have the courage, the strength, the chutzpah to follow Jesus in your life. It isn't always going to be easy, Jacob, to speak out for justice for those who society and the church may oppress, like the poor, like people of color, and people who choose a lifestyle who some even in the church, say are un 
Christian. Jacob, we hope that you will follow in the way of Jesus and love those folks. Stand up for them and find ways to serve them. Here's a little secret, though. (laughs) Serving others can transform you. So get ready, Jacob. Two, we hope that you will understand with your, with your whole heart and mind because Lutherans especially don't leave their brains at the door. We bring them in to worship as well as our hearts. That if you ever act like James and John, if you are ever self-centered, I can't believe that would be true, Jacob, looking at you now, if you are ever self-absorbed, if you ever don't listen to your parents, <laughs> imagine, If you ever think what the church teaches is hogwash, if you ever stray from the good shepherd, then we hope and pray that you will nevertheless come to believe one day that you are forgiven, you are loved, you are a precious child of God. Three, we hope, Jacob, that you will trust with your whole heart that you are loved. That you are loved by a God who has reached down and given you a big hug today and proclaimed to all the angels, this one's mine and I'm never letting go. And four, because preachers finally do stop talking, Jacob. And Andy and Aaron, and Era, and Johan, and Peggy, and godparents too. We pray that you will know of our love for you and our support for you in the ways that we find to serve you and your family and to support you and to bring you the incredibly good news that you are forgiven, you are loved, you are set free to follow Jesus, just like each one of us here today. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Amen.
prayers of the people, set free from sin and death and nourished by the word of truth, we join in prayer for all of God's creation. Holy One, for the gift of the church handed down through the ages and for all who carry on the serpent ministry of Jesus, we praise you. Send your Holy Spirit upon all those discerning calls to ministry in its many forms and equip them with your gifts. Hear us, O oh God. Suffering One, for all who work towards peace and lead nations with a servant's hearts, we praise you. Bring justice for all who suffer violence, persecution, discrimination, hunger, poverty, and homelessness, and create places of refuge for all people. Hear us, O oh God. Merciful One, for all who do the work of healing in mind, body, and spirit, we praise you. Surround and comfort all those who struggle with depression, anxiety, cancer, diabetes, dementia, or any illness, especially for Jim, Audrey, Robin, Sue, Renata, Don, Bob, Carolyn, Richard, Mike, Edmund, Nancy, Dave, Lou, Jean, Christina, Ruth, Sigrun, Shirley, Irene, Diane, Eleanor, those battling and those we name silently and aloud. May all be healed. Hear us, O oh God. Sustaining one for all who volunteer for the vitality of this congregation, we praise you. Strengthen and encourage greeters, ushers, office volunteers, bakers, counters, committee and group leaders, teachers, students, evangelists, singers, builders, nurturers, and all who serve with generous hearts. Hear us, O oh God. Amen. Risen one, we thank you for those who have shaped your church and shaped, shared your gospel. Through the witness of your saints, continue to inspire us with hope until we are all gathered at your eternal feast. Hear us, O oh God. give you thanks for the gift of baptism you have poured upon Jacob, strengthening him and all who live in your grace, that we may be faithful lights shining in your kingdom. Hear us, O oh God. O oh God, bless those celebrating birthdays, anniversaries, and celebrations of all kinds this week. Fill our hearts with love and acceptance. Hear us, O oh God. Confident that you hear us, O oh God, we boldly place our prayers into your hands through Jesus Christ, our truth, and our life. Amen. Let us pray together. God of abundance, you cause streams to break forth in the desert and manna to rain from the heavens. Accept the gifts you have first given us. Unite them with the offering of our lives to nourish the world you love so dearly. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Would you please stand as you are able. The peace of Christ be with you always. Would you pass the peace to one another using the peace sign? <laughs> Did a great job. <laughs> what, happened to that? what happened to that dove? Oh, oh, you're close. Okay.
<laughs> the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Thanks be to you, our God, blessed Trinity. You are almighty, all wisdom, all truth. In you, our maker is our endless bliss. You hold the universe tenderly, for you love everything you have made. You long for us to be one with you, beholding us as your children, innocent and lovable. And in your gracious goodness, you desire that all shall be well. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And if you are home worshiping with us, you may lift up your bread or cracker, the body of Christ given for you. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. And at home you may lift up your cup, the blood of Christ shed for you. For as often as we eat of this bread and drink from this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord Jesus, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated and the ushers will direct you forward. First, we will commune our communion assistants and our musicians. in the body of Christ given for you.
Would you please stand? Let us pray together. Lord of life, in the gift of your body and blood, you turn the crumbs of our faith into a feast of salvation. Send us forth into the world with shouts of joy, bearing witness to the abundance of your love. In Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And now receive the benediction. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forevermore. Amen. Thanks be to God.